Kale crisps is a subject of today's food for thought. My name is Jodie Bunting. This is a daily live health tip to help you lose weight and feel fantastic. So this is a piece of kale and today we are going to make them into crisps. Uh, so just an overview, what are we going to do? We are going to put them in a hot oven with some olive oil, salt and pepper, and that way they're just going to crisp up like a crisp. So what I've already done is washed my kale. Um, and what I would suggest you to do, to do is to get rid of that rooty bit, okay? So you can't really eat it that well, and it's really hard. So what I would suggest you do is just go through your kale and get rid of that big stalky bit at the back. Before I do that, what I'm gonna do is just get a bit of olive oil, a splash of olive oil, and I'm just going to put that on my foil to make sure they don't stick. So, I've got my kale. Now, obviously, if you wanted smaller pieces of crisp, you can cut as well your kale up. But because I'm not really that bothered, I am just cutting the big part off. Now, I'm putting my oven on the maximum, by the way. So the, the hottest you can get your oven, the better. Obviously, I would suggest that you watch the kale because what you don't want to do is burn it. Just going to finish these last little bits. And you'll be pleased to know I have made some earlier. So just finish warming up in the oven there is some kale crisps. I'm just going to show you just getting rid of all these stalky bits. We're nearly there. Uh, for those of you wondering why we're cooking kale, for those of you who get Odd Boxes, which is the vegetable delivery company, there was kale last week, or a fortnight ago, and this week as well. So I even ended up throwing some kale away. So I'm glad that I've found this uh, option. Right, so we now have our kale with the stalks cut off. What I'm gonna do is just put a splash of olive oil on the top there. Then, salt and pepper. Now this bit is really important because obviously the salt is what is gonna make it taste like a lovely crisp. So plenty of salt. I would recommend rock salt, especially some pink salt. Then, Pepper. If you don't like pepper, just add a little bit. If you like pepper like me, add a lot. And then I'm also going to add a special ingredient, which is chilli powder. So if you like your crisps with a bit of a kick, add some chilli powder on the top there. Great. And as simple as that, guys. So now... We are going to bang into the oven our crisps. Now, I'm in the middle of cooking liver and onions for dinner, by the way. That's that other stuff. Ignore the other stuff that's kicking off. And this is our kale crisps, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the ones that I made earlier... Ow. I don't have asbestos fingers. <laughs> Uh, the ones I made earlier, I didn't cut off the big root bit, so they're not quite as good as the ones that I've just put in, and I didn't cut them up at all. But you can see there is a kale crisp, hot, oily, salty. Now without trying to, actually I'll try one of these other ones, here we go. This is an example of a nice one. So you can see there that it is all crisped up, and it will... For those of my friends who are friends with Bev, that is your kale crisp. You can have it as a snack, 
or you can have it as an accompaniment with a meal. So healthy, super healthy, and also tasty. And that's it, guys. Uh, for more of my tips, click subscribe on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash JD.